I know that he got killed. Somebody sh shot him and, you know, robbed him. What's up, y'all? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, so right now, I just came back from work. I, I took a morning run. Um, uh, morning runs make me feel like just they, they just make me feel so good like I'm, I'm in a positive mood right now like it just makes me feel so good i don't know why i still got these headphones in but right now i'm about to shower so when i eat for breakfast and then i'm gonna um do my makeup and dress take some pictures for y'all for instagram and so we're about to get started with that so when i'm done taking the shower and everything else i'm gonna come back to the camera Go downstairs. I'm gonna make my breakfast. I'm gonna show y'all how what I make for breakfast, and then we're gonna do my makeup. We're gonna talk a little bit, and we're gonna just get dressed, fix my hair, fix my little edges, and everything. So, see, came back from working out. So I'll be back to the camera when I'm done. Downstairs and I'm in um, one English muffin with um, maybe like two eggs. And I'm going to drink some water and pick a fruit or something. Maybe like a, probably like oranges. I hate apples. So I'm going to put like a, not too much butter on it, but a muffin, but. Just a little bit because it's just dry um and you know I, I try to stay away from like too much dairy so this dairy free yogurt is really good actually um i use some um, i eat it with some camera around but um i'm doing this on my phone because my camera is upstairs charging and y'all even see nothing I did not mean, but I don't care. Yeah, my phone is up to the charger, but about the the yogurt, I mix it with these with some fruit, and it's so good. I don't usually get that kind of yogurt. They didn't have any more of my yolk, so I had to do with it. But it's just there. But I'm just waiting on my little English muffin to get a little crispy and then I'm gonna start making my eggs. So I'm done, I'm gonna come back to the camera. And y'all, so they are done. These are my boyfriend's little mittens. They're so cute. Look at I don't know what the flash is on. They got dirty, but all he cooked was chicken and veggies. To the whole story over this i was recording it and it just went i'm just so irritated but y'all restart so i was watching this movie called secret society one morning i woke up and 
I was just going through Facebook. My boyfriend was still asleep because we usually wake up like pretty early. You know, to you know, get our day started or whatever. So he was still sleeping and I'm like, okay, I'm about to sit and watch this. People was like, it was good or whatever. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna watch it. It's on, if y'all wanna watch it after I tell the story, it's on uh, Prime. If you have Prime, Amazon Prime, it's on Prime. But anyway, anywho, anyhow, we're about to get to the, the story. So one day, it was these two, these two girls, right? So I don't know where, oh, gotta make sure I'm a primer, but it was two girls and they basically was, you know, they do what females do today. They get their money out of, out of niggas or whatever. So boop, to each his own, that's how you hustle. That's how you get it. I'm not judging you or anything, but yeah, so one day these two girls went out. They went out to the club, you know, they're pretty girls at that. So, you know, in their own little section and, you know, they got money because, no like I said, they was... I keep saying, you know, but like I said, they was, that's how they got their money. Niggas getting their money from, y'all, that's how they got their money. I don't know why I keep saying that, but yeah. So, they was at the club. They had a little section. They saw some uh guys over there that they thought was nice looking. So... The girl, like, let's teach you how to, I'm going to give them a name, Sarah and Jenny. So, Sarah, like, I'm going to show you how to, you know, um, get some money out of, out of niggas, basically. Or get a nigga or whatever. So, the girl, like, um, all right. So, she's showing her, you know, they got their own, they got their own money, but the girl, like, okay. You know, show me, whatever. So the girl like, boom. She like, uh, she tell a waitress, cause they at the club, she tell the waitress, come here. So she like, um, did she pay for a bottle? And she sent it over to the dude's table. It was like, um, you know, we ain't basically, we ain't or we ain't order no bottle. So the waitress pointed over to the, uh, the girls or whatever. So they like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So the guys end up coming to the uh the girls' table, whatever they talked, this and that. They took them, they took them out, you know, took them out or whatever. So they like, okay, cool. They start hanging together. Mind you, the girls already had like uh side pieces and stuff like that so it was just like okay they already had their little they little pieces on the side so th these two niggas they just extra especially because they know that they about to go to the one of them about to go to the nba sarah was then the, the friend and uh what i say the girl name, the other girl name was, but I don't know. The other girl, this is just all over the place. The other girl, um, she was dating the, uh, the one that was, was about to go to the NBA. So, they was hanging out, whatever, whatever, whatever. And she like, they like, you know, you gotta make every nigga feel special. So, yeah, they was doing that, this and that. You know, making every nigga feel special. Every nigga they was with, or whatever. So, they did that. And then one day, the two guys was with this 
was with this other guy and he was sitting down and he was just telling them how it was two females going around uh Atlanta, you know, playing niggas or whatever. So they like, we just we just met two females, this and that this and that. So he just going on and on and on telling them like how they be playing niggas or stuff like that. So the niggas looking at each other like, dang like we we didn't got played or whatever. So they found out, but I ain't tell y'all yet that the two girls are transgender. So, dude, they both pissed off. So they both like, they pissed like, you know, I ain't, you know, I don't like males. But I don't really know if I can say that was transgender because honestly, they didn't have their part removed yet. So... I don't know what to call that. I don't want to offend anybody or anything, but yeah, they didn't have that part removed, so I don't really know what to call them. But anyway, anywho, anyhow, so they find out. So the NBA player find out whatever that they, you know, they males. <laughs> So, <laughs> after that, he comes to the girl, he comes to the girl house and he like, you know, why you wouldn't tell me or whatever, you know, I ain't gay or whatever. And she's just going on and on and on. And so, he pissed off. He like, like, dang, like, you know, I ain't gay. So, he left it alone because he like, he in the NBA. But the other girl, the other girl guy that she was messing with he ended up going to jail so he in jail so they just living their best life they just they just study playing niggas getting money out of niggas this and that so so they just playing them they just keep playing them keep playing them they meet these white guys and the white guys mind you the white guys are are gay too but they don't really want nobody to know that they was gay so they end up you know that was just a perfect thing two females that look like i mean two males that look like females I mean, wow like and they really looked at like females they really was you know they really looked at like females they was pretty as hell i don't know if they was females in real life i think they was i don't know but they was they was really pretty. So to each his own, the white man they was like, okay, that's perfect. They could bring around their friends, whatever. So they end up flying the girls out to. Uh, I don't know if it was. I don't know if it was. Uh, if it was L.A or Miami, it was one of them. So they end up finding them out there. They end up having a good time. They they brought them on like a boat. They brought them to, to meet some, you know, some big people that they work with because mind you, the two white men, they was, they was rich. They was rich or whatever. Yeah, I like, I like contour, but I think I just put too much, but it's okay. I'm just playing. But anyway, back to the story. Yeah, so they they was like, that's perfect for us. So they was hanging out. They uh they was hanging out almost every day. Uh one of the white dudes fell in love with the with the girl. So he asked her, one day he asked her to marry him. And she said yes. So the other person is like, girl, you about to leave me? Whatever. So the girl talking and they talking and she like, yeah, she want to marry the man or whatever. So, you know, the friend being supportive, she like, all right, if that's what you want to do, you know, go ahead. But, you know, the other friend didn't really like the uh the other white guy she wasn't really interested so hold on 
Hold on, y'all. Yeah, so she wasn't really interested. So she like, okay, well, you can stay here. I'm, she went back to Atlanta. You know, mind her business. But she still had like a little boy toy that she messed with in Atlanta. So, you know, she they was hanging out. One night he like, uh, because she would always tell guys like, um, I'm on my period or every time. So they won't like know that she has, you know, what she, what she got down there. So she was like, I'm on my period or whatever. And he like, um, basically the dude, when she got back home, basically he like, he like, I know, like, I know what you got down there already. You don't have to hide it from me. So she like, and she really liked this guy too, mind you. So she like, that's perfect. So they was hanging out. He had, but she been, she been dealing with this guy, but he just was not her main, her main guy. Yes. You know, she was, they was doing what they wanted to do. So he ended up, he ended up finding out and he like, you know, basically he didn't care. Niggas be no, not trying to be rude or anything, but niggas be, niggas be DL as hell, like, but you like what you like, so I can't, I can't say nothing, but don't be DL, DL about it, if you, you know, if you like what you like, then let me know before we get to mess around, you give me some, you know, but anyway, anywho, um, yeah, so they end up, he end up finding out whatever. He like, um, I know, I know what you got down there, basically. And she was just like, oh, shock, like, okay. So they start hanging out. She was finally comfortable because she like somebody finally knows what I have down there. He got money, this and that. So one day he left, and they was they was supposed to be going somewhere, and he wouldn't pick up the phone. She kept calling, she kept calling, she kept calling, she kept calling. She was like, um, you know, basically like, he not picking up. So she called her friend and she talked to her and she like, um, he not picking up the phone no more or whatever. So the friend like, um, did you call like the hospitals, this and that? They like, yeah. She like, yeah. So mind you, like I said, this is a dude that know what, you know, what is she really about? So, um, she found out that he got killed. Somebody sh shot him and, you know, robbed him or whatever. So, she found out that she was sad, this and that. So, her friend wedding was, like, was, like, oh, so she ended up going to her, her friend wedding. And it, it's just, mind you, it's just them two because one of the moms didn't accept that, you know, her son wanted to be a female. And the other girl... Her mom ended up getting killed by her um, her boyfriend. So she watched her mom get killed in front of her because she was being molested by by the guy that um, her mom was dating. So, you know that plays a that plays a major part in a lot of a lot of people too. But I'm not I don't know everybody's story, so I can't say. But yeah, so that's what happened to them when they was younger. So, it was just really them two. Like, they didn't really have nobody that was super close. So, they end up, she ended up going back to California with um, her best friend for, their, for the wedding or whatever. So, she come back. She come back home. She come back home from L.A. She meet this other guy. And basically... She was she was walking out uh, of this club and she was really drunk and basically you know he helped her or whatever he like uh, he brought her to his house and she, he made sure she was you know comfortable she he put her in some comfortable clothes and snacks so she woke up she like where am I so he telling her and all this extra stuff so they end up getting really close they end up hanging out they end up you know. Again, like she she found out she found somebody else that she liked. So she fell in love with him. He wanted her 
to meet his his mom and stuff like that. He brought her around. And this is not going first. He he brought her around. Uh, his son, like, you know, like, it was just a lot. Oh, so he brought her around his son. So then he wanted her to meet. Sorry. He wanted her to meet his mom or whatever. He wanted her to meet his mom. And one day she like, okay, well, I'm really feeling this guy, so... You know, I'm about to just tell him what I got going on. So she invited her friend and her, her friend's husband to Atlanta and she want she took him out to eat and she wanted to tell him. So they're sitting there and she's she about to tell him. Then he she tells him she like I'm a man or whatever. Or something she said, I forgot. But he looked at her crazy, then she had she changed the story. She like, um, you know, she had slipped the story. He was like, oh, I thought you said that you were a man. So then she was like, dang, like, if I tell him, he's going to, you know, leave me alone. So, yeah, y'all. So she ended up like, uh, she didn't tell him or whatever. So they ended up leaving. And she was like, you know, I got to tell him because he was falling in love with her. And she like, uh, I gotta tell him, I gotta tell him. So she finally told him, and he was like, he didn't like that. He was, he didn't do nothing to her, but, you know, he didn't like it. He was just like, you know, I brought you around my son. Like, you know, I don't like, I don't like males. So after that, he left, and she like, uh, she screamed his name. And she like, asked him to come back. So she started calling, he not answer. Hold on. Yeah, so she started calling, he not answering. And she just like, okay, well, whatever. So New Year's came and her best friend came back to Atlanta to celebrate with her. So on their way out the door, the friend, the friend, member that I told y'all, he went to jail. So he ended up getting out. And he comes to the, uh, he comes to her place. He break in or whatever. And he like, you know, he, he not playing. He not playing with them. He like, you know, basically, why would y'all do that? You know, I don't like niggas or whatever like that. So he's sitting there and they, they begging him. They like. He put a gun out on them. They begging them. They like, um, uh, no, her best friend, like, uh, she, you know, she didn't have nothing to do with it. Me, shoot me, shoot me. If, if you're going to do anything to anybody. So they tried to run or whatever. He ended up shooting. He ended up shooting a girl, the girl that he was messing around with. So he ended up shooting her. She died. He ended up shooting the other girl in her face. She made it, but she had this long old scar. Uh, she had this long old scar down her, down her face or whatever. So after that, uh, the friend ended up passing away. They ended up having her funeral or whatever. She ended up getting a new house. Like her friend bought her a new house before she passed, but she didn't. She didn't know that until you know after the uh, the husband had ended up telling her like you know this is this is yours. So after that, you know you sad your best friend gone, somebody that you was around your whole life, and then we didn't, they didn't really have anybody. Like she didn't have her mom around because her mom didn't really support that she wanted to be a girl well he wanted to be a girl so 
it was just a lot. And then after that, the guy that she previously previously was uh was messing around with, he came back and he like uh basically it just went off after that. Like they didn't show nothing after that, and that pissed me off because I'm like, why would y'all end this movie like this? Like. Now y'all need to make a number two because I need to see. I need to see what what went on with them. Like I I need to see if he's if he didn't care that uh she was a you know not a girl. Like I need to see that. I want to see that. So why would y'all not add that to the the movie? I'll be back, y'all. Hold on. Well, I'm back. But you know, like, why would y'all not add that to the movie? I want to see that part. I want to see what happened next. But y'all, it was just crazy. It was just like, like at some point, you can't keep doing that to some straight niggas. They gon' some niggas take that, take you serious, and it just be crazy. But some some niggas see, some niggas be down low. They don't really give a damn. So, honestly, just be honest. If they don't want you, they don't want you. Go find somebody else that don't want you. You you cute. Go find somebody else. But, yeah. It was just a lot, y'all. And I'm like, wow. That, that movie was crazy. But y'all should go watch it for y'all. So, I didn't really explain every little detail. Because this video would have been two hours but y'all that movie was it was crazy because it was it was it's just like wow like you know like wow like crazy people really they don't be playing they will kill you so just you know just watch what you do like they they just don't be playing so it was just crazy, y'all, and I, I'll just, I had to tell y'all that because it was, that, if y'all haven't seen that movie, y'all should go watch it. It was, it was just so crazy how it just all went down, because, like, I don't know, it was just crazy, and it was like, dang, like, you could have beat him up, you ain't had to kill her, like. Now you about to be in jail again. Like, I would say, no, I don't know what I would have did because it, it didn't happen and we didn't, I don't know. It was just been a lot. But it would have had to be a lot. I don't know. Y'all comment below what y'all would have did because, oh, Jesus. I don't know what I would have did because it's like, dang, like, I'm straight. Then you go around doing that, like for real. Like I don't, I don't want nothing to do with that. Oh, 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 oh,